He's back, baby. I'm back. I'm back. Unreal. He's got. Okay. He came in on two wheels. He's got baby hospital bands on his arm. Yeah, I've two. Kept two you of look them. refreshed, though. Well, that's a lie because I'm not. Um, <laughs> let me tell you what you don't do. Don't try to. What are we? We're day twelve. Yeah, day twelve. Don't try to trim your mustache on day twelve. Do you notice a little gap? Oh yeah, right about there. No, yeah, other side. You got well, the mirror. Whatever. Too. Yeah, <laughs> whatever it is. I yawned and thought I was clear. And I very clearly wasn't. So, and it's right on part. It's all gray. So now it looks like it's just all skin. I mean, it's actually still hair. We can fix there's... that. We can fix that up for you. Fix it in post, Hunter. No, it's uh, fix it in post. It's <laughs> well, welcome back. Thank you, Father of two. Father of two. Justin Martin got a pair of them well, here. I'm here. Two at a time. Here, boy. So I'm it's here. all good. It's and easy. He's holding, and he's holding. He got them. two kids. And he's awake. Feeding them. Go, go yeah. for it. Yeah, easy? No, not not easy. Terrifying? Yes. Um, exhausting? A different level than I've ever been in my life. I, I look back now. I told Brittany this other day. I said, you know, I've slept in like during hunting season. Like, I'm just too tired. I can't go tomorrow. I'm, that's a lie. <laughs> he ain't seen All tired. those times, I just didn't want to go. I was not too tired because I now know what too tired feels like. like <laughs> New level. It's it's unbelievable because with two of them, you got to play man to man defense. Mm-hmm. Like there, you one of your counterparts can't sleep. In, like you can't miss a feeding because there's two of them. They're like, both there. They're both there, and they're both mad, and they're both hungry at the same time. All the time. All the time. Well, not all the time. No, we've got them pretty good. They're every. Three hours, close to three hours. But oh, wait, wait till they get where they can crawl. Good. <laughs> okay, all right. I, look, I'm serious. Wait till they get. You ain't tired I, yet. No, I'm serious. Okay, you wait till they get to the crawl and say. I'm serious too. I'm ready for a change. Whatever. <laughs> I don't even care what it is. You in it but, now, as long boy? As it but, changes. But what we're in right now, no. this this can't no. last. This no. this there's no way this can last. So have you had some help? Yeah, uh, last night was actually the reason I probably looked mildly refreshed. Clay, my buddy Clay, his wife Rhonda came over after the 9 o'clock feeding and stayed all night. Um, And then so Brittany took the midnight shift of feeding and I took the 3. So I slept from like 10 till 3, which was 5 hours unbelievable. Like I'm, I'm talking about I woke up ready to tackle the world. Like... I hadn't had five hours of continuous sleep, and I don't know when. Well, hey, and uh, don't don't feel like a long ranger because I just went to Mississippi for four days. You poor I thing. May, I may have got five hours <laughs> the whole time. I Different was there. scenario. Any, yeah, just couldn't sleep. Was another life depending on you getting <laughs> that five hours? Or he no? had that same chair <laughs> you had to sleep in sleep. at the hospital. Oh, oh good grief! How was that? That was terrible. Just could not sleep. Yeah, you know, I, I'd wake up. Hey, next time sleep. you get like that, yeah. come on over. Well, I'm not. I'm telling you, I just I don't know what was wrong. That bottle will fit in your hand just yeah. fine. Hey, I do not know what was wrong because they asked me, "Did you sleep last night?" And I said, "I might got two hours, maybe." Uh. And so. I said, "They said, well, what's wrong?" And I said, "I don't have no idea except the bed's different." Yeah. It happens. Yeah. Hey. But hey, different beds I just, throw you off. I'd lay there. I'd lay there to two, three. About three o'clock, I'd finally doze off. I'd give anything to just lay there. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Not a lot of laying there happening. Socking out, relax, anybody in the 100 oh, mile radius. Well, you put that picture up of Brittany, and there were three of y'all, or you two sons and Brittany just yeah, out, out on the couch, and my sister saw it, and she has twins, and she, she felt afraid. And she started having flashbacks, and we had to like, it's okay. Yeah, PTSD, you're, you're, They're man. 10 now. It's going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, all the twin parents right now are, they're yeah. looking at you with, with. They know. They know what you're going through. Yeah. Empathy. They know. And I don't care. You know, I told, what we asked that time, is there a piece of advice I'm tired of getting about, you know, and I said sleep. I don't care how much sleep you got prior to this. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> no. there, this is just a new level of. <laughs> Side si, does wow. it get any better, Sai? No. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, hey. no, you actually, once they get up where they're kind of really on their own, you just look and look out and tell them, how in the world did I get through that? Yeah. 
Yeah, I still think that every morning when I wake up. I'm like, no, no. all right, well, there's another sunrise, boys. Yeah. We, we got yeah. another one under yeah. our belt. It's cel- it, right now, celebrating small victories. That's all you can do. It's just yeah. well, Hey, we haven't even announced the names or anything on the podcast, yeah. by the way. No, we're uh, waiting on you. Oh, So well, I guess it uh, we're a little late. Yeah. But you can go ahead and announce the birth of your children. So on October 12th at 1059... Wayland David came into this world peeing all over everything. That's a true statement. Hey, middle name David, you got to yeah. watch out for. Him. Yeah, he was he Wayland. was peeing everywhere. I mean, he just a sprinkler. <laughs> Brittany, Brittany laying there numb. He just peeing all over. Like, just I mean, she had no idea. She's like, "What are you laughing at?" I said, "He peeing all over you right now." <laughs> and then at eleven oh one, here come Jackson, Jackson Nash. Um, and they were here and it was the wildest thing I have ever experienced. Mm-hmm. I had people were asking me, what do you think? I was like, I, I don't have any word. It was just, hey, I would have like, passed out. Like I walked yeah. in. Yeah. So they took Brittany back. Damn, I hit the floor. They took Brittany back for the C-section and they were like, you just stay here. We're going to go prep and all that. Well, I just sitting there by myself, twiddling my thumbs, like what in the world going on here? And, uh, and then they come and got me and said, all right, come in, go sit by her head, whatever. I was like, all right. And the doctor didn't. My Ooh. my rear end barely hit the Whoa. stool. And Dr. Jones said, yeah. Dr. Jones said, you ready to see a kid? And I said, well, I reckon. Yeah. She That's said, giving me heebie-jeebies. She said, well, stand Whoa. up. And I stood up. And then she went in there. And then here she come out. And I was like, oh, dear God. That First of all. Fatherhood. First of all. I thought C-section was like the kind way of birth. No, very rough, no. very rough. No, you got you got a couple pulling and or one pulling and a couple pushing, and I'm and Brittany's just laying there like with a smile on her face, and I'm like, <laughs> do you know what they're doing to you right now? No, no. And here's and, here's the thing that gets me at this. She'll be wanting to have another one. No, she ain't either. Okay. <laughs> Guaranteed, She buddy. already did two minutes I, later. I, yeah. I'm telling you. No. I'm telling you. Okay. Guaranteed. Well, the Martin, the Martin the clan is day. done. Well, hey, that's the crazy part of it, okay, is that she'll come to you and says, I, I want to have another baby. Here's what I can tell you right now. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. If everybody would have started their kids with twins, nobody would have more than two. They'd be done. You ain't running this gauntlet again. Ain't no, ain't no way. Ain't uh. Uh-uh. Mm. There's a couple. That's the well. Then that no, no. Cause when my, they they fell in a moment of weakness. When my, when my, hey, look. That's all I gotta tell you. Cause they don't, they don't remember what's going on at the Martin House right now. Uh. Uh-uh. Cause this crap is rough. Oh, no. Cause you hear like, oh, every three hours, so you can get two hours of sleep in between. No, no, you can't. Mm-hmm. No, you got something's got to be washed. There's 150 million bottles. There's there's laundry to do. There's bottles to do. There's you name it. The, oh, by the way, you got to eat at some point, <laughs> don't you? You got a shower. <laughs> I, I took one of them in the bathroom with me the other day. I said, well, I mean, whatever. I got to use the bathroom. You coming with me? I guess. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just do what you got to do. It's it's a game of survival. Is yep. all it is. Yep. And, and once you, I don't know. Everybody says it don't last, but buddy, when you in it. You're in. It, right. it, it feels right. like so, there's right. no way out. Somebody lied to you. <laughs> so they're not even when two weeks old. It don't last. No, they'll be two weeks on Wednesday. Yeah. I don't know at what point. they. I'm just, the doctor said once we get them back to their birth weight, you know, because every baby loses weight or whatever. Once we get them back to birth weight, we can feed every four. Okay. I'm so looking forward to if, that. If like, they, I know it's stupid. It, it only yeah. gets better. If they'll let you. Who? The kids. No, they'll let you. Well, I'm just saying. No, they'll let you. I'm just saying. Okay. They want the food. If I done figured out one thing about these rascals. <laughs> they hungry? It, well, if you don't give in to them, you can get them on a schedule. Mm-hmm. You just have to whoop them into submission. And when I say, I'm not talking about beat them. I'm talking about you just have to you make just sure. Stick to the yeah. You got to make sure that you pacify them to a level of where you can make it to the time clock. And now, like, they were waking up an hour and a half after a feeding like just ready to eat again now they wake up at like every two hours and 45 minutes and by the time i get we get the stuff ready everything has been three hours they eat they're done they don't there's no more mid they're they're trainable they're trainable. you just have to not give in you got to sit there and listen to some stuff that don't make you very comfortable for a little bit <laughs> you know and i'm like 
it's okay. We we gonna make it through this. I'm I, I'm going with all the books, all the things. Like if the if the science backs it up, let's go with it. Let's figure it out. We'll we'll go from there. Oh, that ain't mine. I was afraid that was my phone and that the house was burning down. <laughs> uh, no, you're good. No, house good. still on stand. We're good. We are good. <sighs> but um, no, it's it's wild. So yeah, we're. We've got them trained every three. I know if once we get the clear to go to four, that'll be that week. It's it's rough getting them trained. I'm not gonna lie. That that and them some big boys. They are. They come out. One of uh, Jackson was seven five, and uh, Waylon was six six. Good grief! And uh, man, they almost had oh, fourteen hey, pounds of human. Hey, whenever hey, they were, whenever hey. they took up, whenever they took them out of there, Brittany said. I can breathe. <laughs> and I said, good, because I can't, because I'm just watching them flail around. And I'm like, oh, eight. man. No wonder mama was miserable. Oh, yeah. She had eight. 13 huh? pounds. Yep, seven, mm. five, yeah. and six, yeah. six. So, John well, David, did you go back when your wife had your kids? Did you go back? Mm-hmm. With them? I, I did. I mean, I watched every one of them be born. It was a sight to see. Oh, yeah, I videoed it. Yeah. <laughs> I did, see you? That. did you? Did uh-huh. you? I've seen it three times. Woo. Good. Yeah. Uh, when the doctor, when my daughter-in-law told me about what the doctor said when she went for her final deal before she gave birth, yeah, he said, "Well, you know," and I was there when they was fixed to go in. He said, "Well, you ready for me to uh, cut you and open you up like a gut in a hog?" Oof. No, no, I'm Terrific that's bedside what, manner the back in the sixties. Doctor Jones didn't use that phrase. Well, I'm just saying that doctor <laughs> did, and when he did, I was just getting. Were you in Alabama? White. No, he's oh, in Germany. Was in, was in, no, was in uh, oh. uh, Virginia. Virginia. <clears throat> yeah, they were stationed it. I uh, thought Virginia was for lovers. It sure don't sound like it. Sounds pretty That's rough. Oh, uh, well, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. Y'all ready to take a trip? Let's Where go, we go? Si? We're going to go to the pristine waters of New Zealand, boys. Oh. Okay, and now, hey, it's back by 37, going toward 38 years of research. Come on. <laughs> and what I'm talking about here is Omega XL. You can take up to six pills, okay, because there's not any drugs in it. Okay, this is uh, all natural, I guess I should call it. First of all, it's mussels from the ocean. Okay, and then the company runs that through a special process. Okay, because look, I'm 74. I think I've found a fountain of youth. Okay, because hey, you got SPMs in your body. Okay, as you get older, they don't make them as good as they used to. So hey, guess what? I got the answer for you. I tell you, I've done run up on the fountain of youth. It's Omega XL. Martin, tell them how they can get this wonderful product. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something right now. I think all hospital couches for expecting fathers are made by Omega XL because after you spend about two nights on them, you got to start eating them things like candy, son, because you want to talk about some inflammation. But anyway, Omega XL can help restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so you can move like when you were young. Right now, you can order Omega XL and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or you can call 1-800-844-48. Then put 288s on that bottom of that. That's 88. 1-800-844-48. 88. For not one. But for two bottles. And hey, here's the best news of all. The last bottle is absolutely free. There you go. How often are you able to get out of the house at all? None. Is this the first time? This is the first time I've left for an extended period of time. And when I say extended period, not to the grocery store, not to, you know, not not for a doctor's appointment or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. I I texted Will and Corey and said, look, I know I planned on being off two full weeks, but I may have to extend that. <laughs> just to, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is rough. Like, I, and I don't, you know, Brittany's dealing with all the hormones and everything that goes with that it's and a wild like, ride. i mean i just look up and she crying and i'm like oh boy. you did something oh boy oh boy oh boy you know like what can i do what can i do to make it better because i mean it's it we are a bunch of pansies and when i say we i'm oh, talking about guys the men of oh, the no, room no, i yeah. didn't tell you hey if it was up for a man to to procreate our species yeah we would have been extinct hundreds of years ago oh she the toughest thing i ever seen okay she feeding one holding one right. pumping doing all the things and i'm just like 
I mean, I'm just. Oh no! I mean, yeah. I, I'm I'm hey. I'm floored. No, no. It, hey, that's you know? why I have always had my hat off to womanhood. Oh, I'm womanhood. here to tell you, it's hey. it's the. I'm serious. I got chill bumps on me right now. I don't know how a man even thinks he can. He's up to the same level as a female because oh, he now, ain't. You're a pansy. Yeah, oh, ain't no doubt. Oh, okay. Ain't no I doubt. No, I'm a pansy. Okay. We can pick 300 okay. pounds up over our head, but we can't do what she's doing, no. which is way tougher. No, no chance. No chance. <laughs> no. And also, I can't pick up 300. Well, I'm just saying, you possess the ability to get strong <laughs> enough to, to do, do that. Ah, I don't I care know. what we could do. We couldn't oh. ever do what these women are no, doing no once, the, no once they're pregnant and give birth. No, but sure. it is, man, it's been a wild ride because, like, when she don't ever come off of anesthesia well, period. I've been with her through three surgeries now, mm. and it ain't none of them fun. And this one was just as bad. Mm. I was like, I'm sitting there looking at her, and her hands are, like, turning gray because she's shivering, and the blood's, like, it's all going to her heart. And mm. I mean, I, was, I went in there and told them, I said, y'all take care of these kids. I can't do this alone. We got to fix her. <laughs> yeah. You ain't kidding. Like we fixing her. Yeah. Send these kids to that nursery over there. I, I done paid for it. Take them to it. Like I'm worried about mama right now. Yeah. We'll, we'll get on them kids later. He got a strategy side. Oh, hey. So no. we, uh, Oh, I'm in with him on that. Oh, I'm oh, telling yeah. you the best part was what the second night in the hospital. It was hilarious. Not looking back on it. So the first day, we had both boys in the room. Everything's good, whatever. Second day, Waylon wakes up, spits up. It's a, not the color it's supposed to be. So nurse sees, well, I, thank God, I just I mentioned it in passing. I didn't know it wasn't the color it's supposed to be. I was like, oh, he spit up. Ha ha, it's baby. And I told the nurse, and they were like, what, what color was it? And I said, well, I mean, here, it's on his little swaddle. I didn't have time. I didn't know that was coming. So I just wiped it on that and got him a new one. And she looked at it. She said, let me take him. We'll be right back. And I was like, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. boy. And then she come back. When she come back, she didn't have him with her. I yeah. said, oh, boy. Mm-hmm. And she said, we, we have decided to admit him to the NICU to see if we can figure out why he's spitting up that color. And, man, you want to talk about a wild range of emotions? Go oh, from no. having mm. both of your kids. Wow. To one of them now is going that way. And then I will say, though, this is why I said anybody ever gripes about one is a pansy. Because when they had that kid in NICU, and we just had Jackson, you want to talk about easy. Like, we was on easy street, son. Like, it was like, yeah. But that second night, because of all that, and then we had to go meet with the doctors in NICU. Then, you know, <laughs> saddest place on earth. Yeah, I'm, right there. I'm trying not to tear up. Yeah. Same. Um, <laughs> and I'll just but, say this. I'm going to give you a second. Because uh, – my NICU story is much longer, but that doesn't mean anything because we and it it. Whenever Allison heard y'all had one at home and one in the NICU, Allison, and our kid was in the NICU for three months, and Allison goes, "Wow, that's tough." So, <laughs> like, just having one there, and man, well, no, woo, emotions are going yeah, everywhere no. in the duck call room. But like, <laughs> yeah, it's we wild. were praying for y'all, and I know like that had to just be the ringer having one kid with you and then another one. And it's around, I know it's around the corner, but that's just. Yeah, but you can't go when you want to. You can't do what you want to. Like, so we would go. You you can't do nothing about it. Yeah, we would go visit, you know, and then you had to go meet, then you had to go meet with a doctor who was great, Dr. Desilaire. He was fantastic. Dr. Desilaire. He was fantastic. He's a great guy. He was, (laughs) but he goes through the whole thing with you. Uh-huh. of a worst case scenario he he sits you down in what they call the library mm-hmm. and he gets out his little binder and he starts and i'm like oh god yeah oh god oh Ooh. god because at the at that time we didn't know what was wrong with him. like they still hadn't got to what was wrong with him and they gonna test for everything under oh the sun so until he, they're comfortable letting them go and he said the reason we brought you here first is we want to prepare you because when you go in there there's going to be wires going everywhere uh-huh oh, your wow. baby looks very good your baby looks good but we got to we got to find out what's wrong. He's a Spaniard, so yeah. he's he's fantastic. That's why I'm, I, I know that's not a Spaniard accent, but whatever. <laughs> Close as we can do. That's yeah. Good. Um. So then we went through all that, went in there, and I mean it was it was just like gut wrenching. Mm-hmm. And then I look around though, because you know you ain't by themselves. Mm-hmm. There's five other kids in there, mm-hmm. and I look and I'm like, holy cow! And that's why those nurses were so funny, because I mean and Every parent, I'm sure, is different and whatever. But I would literally go in there, see him, pray for him, leave. I couldn't camp out. 
Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't have it. I, I couldn't stay there. And I saw those parents in there holding their kid. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Because mm. I knew back in the room, I had a wife who couldn't get off her back yeah. because of the anesthesia. There's also a kid in there. Jackson's in there. So I'm like, best thing I can do is get out of these people's way and let them work. Mm-hmm. I'm going to come down here. And we were literally taking like drops of colostrum so they could, because her milk hadn't done anything. They were early, you know, trying to get it. And they put it on a Q-tip, rubbing it on his lips and all that kind of stuff. But man, it was, it was wild. So wow. whenever, wow. whenever we went to leave, it was so fun. We were in there. He was in NICU for seven days. And uh, man, those people are great. Longest seven uh, days of your life. Oh, those last two were really long. Uh-huh. Mm. the problem with him is he was hard to feed Uh and they wanted us they wanted to train us how to feed him so that we would be confident when we got home like so we wouldn't like get home and freak out and come right back up there so they put us in a courtesy room so by the way the courtesy room it is a courtesy because you're at the hospital much smaller than the regular room like (laughs) like barely room for the very comfortable couch I'm laughing because I've, yeah. I've seen it. Yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not. It's not. And um, but you know, Brittany was like, "You sleep on the bed," and I was like, "Oh God, no! You had major surgery. No, yeah. give me that stupid couch." But barely room for that. The crib with Jackson in it because she didn't want to leave Jackson at home, and I, I get it. Yeah. Even though I tried yep. to, yep. I was like, "Look, we got grandparents, sisters, everything else can help." Mm-hmm. She's like, "No, I want him here." I was like, "Okay, fa- fair enough. It's you did all this. We're going. I'm going to honor your request. Your way." Yeah, and so barely room for all three of us. And then, again, somebody had to stay and feed him every three hours. Mm-hmm. Somebody had to go feed Waylon every three hours. It was just the most exhausting 48 hours. Yeah. Because you're in the hospital, so you ain't getting no sleep. Mm-hmm. You ain't getting nothing. Like, it was just, man. Well, but then we, when we went to leave, they said, do y'all have any questions? And I said, yeah, I got a question. She said, what is it? I said, can you? Can you keep him till he's 18? <laughs> I said, because y'all seem to have a pretty good system down in here, and I don't know that we can repeat it once I get home. And they all started dying laughing. And, but everybody, man, if you're listening to this and you work in the NICU Amen. or know somebody in the NICU or are anyhow connected, uh, yeah, shout y'all out. are the unsung heroes oh, oh no. of hey, labor, hey. delivery, hey. babies, hospitals. Yep. Because what y'all do? Yeah. To work on a child, a new child, a newborn. And a lot of them are Because I went through the same thing you did. Yeah. We're supposed to be seeing him, okay, and you hear the word code blue, and then, hey, he's gone, and the doctor comes out like two hours later and said, oh, I'm sorry, I I had to operate on your son. Yeah. And I said, is he okay? And the doc said, oh, yeah. And I said, well, hey, don't apologize. Yeah, do what you got to do. I couldn't do nothing for him. That's why I got the heck out of their way, man. Yeah, Yeah. I'm like you. I stepped out of the way and just was just, you know. I'd always hang out in the hall talking to all the nurses. Like, it was, that's where I felt the most comfortable was out in the hall with it. I was uh, friends with all of them, too. Yeah. I I, I can't do this anymore. the funny thing with me. Christine comes walking out, and she said, "We Uh, we got a baby born. I said, no, he hadn't. Your belly's still. <laughs> you know, she said, yeah, Size waiting on number child. two. I've had the child. And I said, were well, you sure you ain't got another one in there? Because, hey, you still look pregnant. No, you know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know. If there's two of them in there, they fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will say this. I asked one of the NICU nurses, and, and we know her. Some Well, some of us know her, kind of. Grace is the wife of Bryant, who used to work for us here, and uh, she was Wayland's nurse for a couple of days. I said, Grace, how, how do you do this? I don't understand. I, I said, I, I just don't. It, this is like the saddest place. And, and the most encouraging thing I heard during that whole deal is she said, I know God is sovereign. Wow. She said, so whatever happens to these kids? It's in his hands. I know where they end up. Yep. He's in his hands. Yep. Amen. My sister, she lost a child, and, and she was going to quit quit nursing. And Mama talked to her and said, well, baby, if, if you're going to be in this field, yeah, every once in a while you're going to lose one. You yeah. just, that's mm. just part of life. But when I heard her say that, I said, you know what? She's right. He got this. No, no. Yeah. Yep. Like, all we can do is pray, do our thing, let the doctors do their thing, yep. and whatever happens – happens no matter no matter how it turns out but 
Yeah, so far in my life, roughest seven days of my life. Ooh. And I know it was only seven. And I've had no, a bunch no, no, of people no. on Instagram. It doesn't matter. Because, reach out. But, but I've always said, when your child goes to the NICU, and I don't care if it's seven days, if it's three months, if it's a day. Well, I can handle a lot for something. My, it's still, it's the same feeling. Because you love that child and it's unexplainable and it's your first one. It was my first one. And you can't explain the feeling that you have of just wanting everything to be better and being totally out of control. And that's when you just, the faith we have is relying on God. But, and I'm so glad that you had that and I have that. And some, I don't know how you do it without that. Yeah. But I, I don't, like, it doesn't matter how much time it is. It's the same feeling of just you want your son or your daughter to just be with you and be better. And you've been planning this for months. And so it's like, it doesn't matter how long you're in there. If it's, if you, if it's an hour scare, it's still the same feeling I had now that I, or you had, did some people go through it longer? I can, Hey, I went to the new Orleans children's hospital. I can show you parents that went through it way longer than me. And they would say the same thing. Like it's not where you want to be to see the person that you can't explain why you love them so much. All of a sudden they're just yours. Yeah. That was and, a frightening thing when they started talking about transfer to Baton Rouge. Oh, yeah. I was like, mm. oh, my goodness, here we go, son. Like, we going to be living with one in a hotel or a hospital room, and then the other one's in there. I was like, well, okay. Just figure here, it out. Here we yeah. go. Yeah. Let's adapt and overcome, you know. That's what but it is. And that's, that's Thankfully, how- we got to bring him home. He's at home, and arguably, he was the most difficult child when we come home, and he's getting to where he's the easiest. He's the easy one And now. I'm like. Wow. You little rascal. And he looks just <laughs> like his mama. Thank, Tennessee thank fan God and all. for that. You know. Uh, but, uh, no, that's it. Let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Were you already a pro at changing diapers? No, nah, I mean, I've done it. Yeah. Like, changing diapers, I don't know. It's not that hard. I mean, there's – we've had some bad experiences with one certain diaper. but. Yeah. It, I'm not going to – I could, that may just be us. I don't know. Yeah, user like, error. Yeah, but the other ones are great. But there's one that keeps giving us fits. One that you wake up and you're like, why are you wet? I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. We did the exact same thing with that one we've done with the other ones. But I don't know. It may just be us not know. Maybe there's some fold or something. We I don't know. But it's <laughs> – uh, no, the diaper changing ain't a big deal to me. Like, it's – it's. I mean, I feed somebody had to do it to me. Yeah, like, you know, I, oh, yeah. somebody had to change mine, so I'm oh, not. I've changed a mini myself. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm hold not on, one hold, of those. Hold on a second. How about you, Sai? You changed a bunch. Of- <laughs> Couldn't do it. <laughs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> I'd, Why not? I'd, I'd make it worse than it already was. Oh, it ain't that bad right now. No. What's weird is Jackson. So the doctor made us like save all breast milk and all that stuff for Waylon because he was a sick one. He yeah. was like, we don't, we need to keep him on mama. Mama, oh, oh, mama's oh, is better. Oh, yeah. Yep. Mama, mama, yep. mama, everything. Yep. So Mule's he was system. like, look, the other baby can go on formula. He'll be fine. Like, and he's right. He has been fine. And he's been on formula. But now Brittany's producing enough where we, we're mixing in some breast milk with him too. But, like, that kid is so wild. His his crap don't stink. <laughs> But well, when that's, that, a, but that's when, a Martin for you. But no, no, it all when, went. But no, let me tell you, when that little rascal farts, it stinks. <laughs> I don't know how the end product, yeah, yeah. don't match yeah. the gas. I'm like, I all mean, went. when he farts, you're like, who? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then when he's got a dirty diaper, you're like, well, this this don't even smell like nothing. You just pick him up and wipe his butt. Well, what else always and, got me? They would, you know, that kid would eat, and then it would look like seeds. Oh, breast milk. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. It would look like seed. Yeah. I, somebody asked me, said, what's that like? I said, it looked like spicy brown mustard. That's what it reminded me of. It's got a mm. yellow brown. It's got them little seed looking oh, things. Yeah, it looked like seed. Yeah. I mean, I'm just like, yeah, it's whatever, man. I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. So that, that was the weird thing of having one on formula and one on breast milk. And looking at, I, I can't tell the difference. Well, hey, here's, but, here's the difference I noticed. Formula, okay, when they spit up. It's horrible. Oh yeah, that stuff stinks hey, whenever before it goes down. Up breast milk. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. No smell. Yeah. The Ain't breast no milk smell. is breast milk's way better. I can just tell you right now. Oh, yeah. y'all, y'all knew y'all knew Brittany prior to this. Mm-hmm. 130, 140 pounds soaking wet. 
you know, just small framed individual. Yeah. So the fact, I mean, to expect her to be able to pump out enough for two, I mean, right. that's yeah. a, that's a feat. So, oh. so the fact, yeah. if we can keep one on and the other one just gets supplemented every once in a while, because what it does, the breast milk, like Jackson was fine. And then he got a little constipated from being on formula, which was just, you know, yes, all doctors, all that. So, yes, yeah, just the iron and like start cutting this formula if you can with breast milk a little bit or worst case water, like just get him hydrated, make sure he's getting plenty of hydration mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So then we started cutting it with a little bit of breast milk, you know, five, 10 milliliters, not much just, and then it started flowing again. But I mean, it's just wild that, that how much better mama's is but that they're perfectly able to survive off the other two it's just yeah. it's crazy to see yeah. the difference in the two like it, it's just uh and that the human body can produce that much yeah. oh yeah and she's she's producing a lot still not i mean we want to make sure that we have a reserve for whaling until we get a hundred and ten percent clean bill of health which we should know more i think it's wednesday uh, once we meet with a specialist and they do another scan to make sure that he has no tummy blockage, it doesn't seem like he does now. Yeah. Um, but you know, we're going to, we're going to do our due diligence on follow up and, and all that kind of stuff. So, right. um, to make sure we're giving the boy everything he can, he can get, but I, it's just so funny because you got one that looks just like her. <laughs> when, she, when he come out, I said, and as Waylon, he was, he's the oldest or whatever. <laughs> yeah. He come out, he come out and I look, I said, Dang, that's like looking at Brittany. And then they pulled the other one out, and I said, ooh, that's like looking at me. I mean, we got a clone of each of us. And that's what's that's what's so wild. Like, if you put them, oh, if you put them down beside each other right now, you would be like, those are twins. Like, they don't even look. Yeah. You know, one looks like me, yeah. one looks like her. It's yeah. just crazy. I thought, I've told everybody, I said, they're only twins because they were born at the same time. Other than that, they look like two completely different individuals because Waylon's long and thin, and Jackson, I've been calling him sloth because, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what he just over there, just big and burly, and <laughs> ah, give me a bottle, you know. That's right, so, give me something to eat. Yeah, slow moving, like, you I know, hate, he hate just. That. Bring me only, some food. Yeah, the only thing he moves fast is his head when you're trying to get that bib around him. Man, he just, which is the only time I truly get aggravated is trying to feed him. I'm like, if you don't stop, that's, I, I mean, that's the most amazing part of watching them grow, grow up, is to see the differences. As, yeah, as they get older. Yeah, because it shocked me when my daughter, okay, who was a brain, okay, and beautiful, still is, and you would think she wouldn't have cared nothing about kids or babies. Oh, no, wrong answer. She's a fantastic mother and loves it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And just loves it. That's what got me. Oh, to see the change in Brittany from mm. going from husband and wife to now mother is unbelievable. Oh, no. Yep. I mean, I, and I oh. tell her that all the time. I'm like, you're you're just, in 12 days, you're a completely different oh, person. Oh, no, no, because I'll tell you, she was actually glowing when yeah. she was sitting in that seat. Yeah, she is Mama Bear 1000. Oh, no. Don't you mess with them, baby. Yeah, or you'll get your ate you yeah. up. Yeah, but I need to, <laughs> but I need some rest too. So, you know, it's kind of, oh. it's a wild transformation that a woman makes going from just a woman to a mother. I mean, it's a, it's a crazy thing. And my, being in the trenches of it right now, if, if you are at home, look, my heart's out to you because them women, man, them, them hormones is wild. Women like, are tough. Like, and they are, they are riding a dragon <laughs> for this little bit that is not to be envied. You so. ain't kidding. Well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after this. Well, I don't know. It's just, you know, it's fun. It It, it is truly the hardest thing I've ever done, though. It, this this parenting, being a father, well, being... It's kind of like Star Trek. Uh-oh. <clears throat> you have gone where... Where no man has gone before. Yeah. Okay? And I mean, I mean that seriously. Oh, yeah. What are you talking okay? about, Because si? you don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. Okay? No. And you're half responsible for bringing a new life into this world. Yeah. Yeah, I asked them. You know, they make you watch the video that scares you to death on CPR and all that stuff before you leave there. And then and, and I, 
I said, where's the instruction manual? Like, what, what, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, you are they, the instruction. Yeah, they were manual. like, you're, you're discharged. I was like, you're well, it. That, that's cool and all, but y'all ain't gonna give me a test. Like, what, yeah. what to do in yeah, this? You'd flunk it anyway. Yeah, I, I would. But it is amazing how quick you learn. Like, just looking at them now, I can make a pretty solid guess on what's why they're making the racket yeah. they're making. Yeah, why like, they're crying or yeah, why they're yelling. Yeah, and it ain't been but twelve days. Or if they're cooing or content, and I'm like, well, okay, I get it now. Like it's just, well, it's amazing it, the instincts that pick up because I've been well, well quoted as saying, "There's two things everybody sucks at: that's marriage and parenthood." Because you ain't ever been either, and uh, <laughs> you got to learn. Know, yeah, yep. but yeah. the yep. the funny thing is, is our dog. You know, she was the only child, so to speak, for eight years, and. Now, when we brought the first, because we come home separate, obviously. So when we brought the first one home, she walked over there and she was like, she just sniffed him and then she went and laid back on her bed. She was like, ah, whatever. And then when he would make a racket, she'd throw her head up and then she'd lay back down. And then I remember when we were going to pick up Waylon, I said, you ain't going to like what's coming for you now. <laughs> like, you, this he'll is, pull, yeah. He'll pull you in. Yeah, yeah. You all, your world's yeah. really about to get rocked. So yeah. when we come yeah. home with the other one, you could tell she was like, well, now do what? Yeah, I used to get up on the couch. Yeah, I used yeah. to run this place. And yeah, now I just yeah. have to lay on my bed or get in my kennel right now. I'm outnumbered. Yeah, yeah. But I, I can't wait till they get I, a little bit older. I've been demoted. Mm -hmm. I can't wait till the kids get a little bit older. Like when we can start, you know, leaving them on their belly a little bit longer and putting them on the floor. And then I think once that happens, the dog will be. She already just goes and lays in front of them now. Like daring somebody oh, yeah. that ain't us to no, come, no. come around there. Yeah. And if she ain't laying there, she lays in the pinch point of where you would have to come from to get into there. Like, no matter which door, there's one little area you'd have to come through in the living room and to get there. And she's in front of them. And that's where she lays. Yeah, right she's there. in front so of she, them. She's doing it without saying it, of like, no, I got y'all. I got you back. Um, but it is wild, man. And it, it was so crazy to see, you know, my mom and Brittany's mom and dad and all them yeah, with man. the – Becoming grandparents again, you know, well, for her parents, that's their, these are their first two grandchildren. Okay. And for mine, my mom, this is her second two. So, okay. you know, but my nieces are like seven and eight or eight and nine, something. I don't remember. Uh, everything runs together right now. Yeah. But so she ain't had one in a while either. So to see them grandparents, I'm like, hey, yo, y'all got to stop now. Y'all got to quit. <laughs> y'all got to quit. No, they don't. Quit holding. Well, I'm just like, quit. <laughs> Quit holding them things and put yeah. them down. Yeah, I don't no, need them to no. have to be held to go to sleep. Oh, like, put them things over there and let them let them become little independent things Ugh. for a minute. Like, and that's one of the things we fought. And then you know, Brittany's on the it's RSV season, so don't kiss them, don't you know, don't touch them around their face and all that for anybody not us. And yeah. it's funny because them grandparents try to sneak them one in. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> And they look at me. I'm like, hey, she birthed them. You listen to her. Uh, she makes she, she make the rules, she's, son. Yeah, she make she the, rules. the rules. On it. That's exactly she right. carried them. She birthed them. She make the rules. I'm yeah. just here to back her up. So whatever she says, she got my 110 percent support. And you only two weeks in. Two weeks in. Twelve days. Yep. Good grief. Yeah. It's uh, now. Have you have you? I don't know if they finished with all of your house and everything, but did you go around and fix all the locks and? <laughs> Not friendly? yet. I haven't yet. But yeah. um. Yeah, it's uh, there. I mean, my house is as done as it's going to get for the yeah. time being, obviously. But it got back extremely livable. Now there's just a few cosmetic things to work on and and paint the outside. But other than that, it's their nursery's done and set up, and our bedroom, bathroom, closet, all that stuff got done. I mean, it's not organized, and as you can imagine, we were doing it the night before we went to the hospital. Still, but all the stuff is where it should be. Yeah. It's in the room it should be. It just, you know, we ain't got nothing on our walls. We ain't hung nothing yeah. up. It's, nah, it's, you do that later. Yeah, it's survival at its finest. You Absolutely. Know? And and just, you know, we still there's there's just stuff we have to get that we ain't got yet. So it's like just. One thing at a time. Let's get this little first little stage through, yep. and then you know, get we'll, over the first up. Yeah, let's let's crawl through this first deal. Yeah. And, well, you know what's weird is is my wife Alicia. You know, she didn't want to have kids, and now we got three, and she's glad she did, and she was she still is a great mother. But at first, she was like really not wanting to have them. Yeah, well, that's always what Brittany said. Like you know, I we want them, but. You know, I'm not sure, and, like, it was going to be hard for her anyway. She was always yeah. told her whole life, like, if you have one, good luck. You'll be put on bed rest because you won't be able to carry them. 
And little we know she, she said, towed, "Watch this." Yeah, she towed hey, a, hey. she towed a twins around for thirty seven weeks with little to no issue. That's why I you know. told my wife, and it took me a long time to convince her. I know someone up there, and he's above all of us. But I loved her as my wife. Period. But the love and admiration you get for one when they become the mother of your child is yeah. It's wild. It's done gone. It's done gone the way yeah. four, five oh, different steps. She is. Way okay. more She's respect. always been on a pedestal. Yeah, yeah. The difference is now I can't reach the pedestal. I used to think I could reach up there and touch it. But now, now yeah. I'm looking now, up here. Yeah. Like, okay. I mean, it's it's it's. I mean, she's up walking around two days after having major oh, surgery, no. like like it ain't no, nobody's no. business, and she's yeah. already she don't yeah. even look like she birthed two kids. Mm. And I'm like. I still look the same. This is a bunch of, well, other than the bags under my eyes, I still look the same. Hopefully you didn't do like signs say, is there any more in there? No, I didn't. No. No, well, when, hey. they, when they popped them out, she was deflated. It was like, I mean, it was just, you know, you know she just, all she told me, Christine said, no, the doc said I'd be swollen, swollen for a couple of days. But and I said, I can't believe he done gave birth to it. In all seriousness, I don't know if anybody local much listens to our podcast or not, but the staff at St. Francis, my hat's off to you. Y'all did yeah. a fantastic job, took care of us. Like, I mean, it felt like we were the only people there um, when I know we weren't because yeah. I got to know everybody on our hall. Cause <laughs> yeah, I bet you y'all did. know yeah. I don't sit in spaces well, no. so I got up meandered, <laughs> yeah. looking, talking, doing my uh, thing. Yeah. Um, well, not only that, Justin, but. All the prayers and people texting oh, and calling in absolutely, and stuff. Absolutely. Awesome. Whenever we were posting stuff and, I mean, the people that told their story too and like, it just gives you encouragement, makes you realize you're never alone in this world. No matter, right. no matter what you're going through, A, somebody's been through the exact same thing or B, somebody's been through something way worse. Right. The Bible um, says it best. There's nothing new. No. Nah. Yeah. There's nothing new. It's new to you. And you know, maybe new to you, but it ain't. It's been here before, right? Okay, somebody's gone through it. But with that whole situation, I said, say this: like you get into this point where, if you watch what's on TV and everything, the world becomes a discouraging place. Yeah. But when does. something like this happens, and the amount of people that reach out, pray for you, yeah, everything, you realize. That crap they're saying on TV it ain't, ain't the what, way this world really that ain't is. Ain't really the how it is. No, that's people right. people still loving one another. That's right. They loving their neighbor. Yep. Right. They loving God yep. and doing all the right things. And, and, I, and when you're in that spot where we were, yeah, that encouragement it. was priceless. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, now. I'm gonna tell you something. It may not have been a, a baby in, in the NICU, but when people go through things that are all of a sudden they don't have control of. You know, my wife had to have a lot of special tests, and we had to go down to this that was been a while back. Yeah. yeah. But I walked in Justin's office just in tears. I said, "Man, I need you to pray for me." You know, right now because I got to go pick her up and go. I'm not strong. And he stopped what he was doing. And he said, "Let's let's go to the Father and pray about it." And just having that support from all you guys and all of our friends and people from church. I mean that that was that meant everything because at that time I didn't have any answers. You know, and so people reaching out to you like that. Yeah. I mean, it really helps, you know, and, and, and even sign when you were in the hospital, we had people calling oh, yeah. and texting and sending flowers and. Well, and even like the night before we went, Godwin and Paula just show up at the house and I'm like, what are y'all doing here? Yeah. And, you know, Godwin was like, well, I just felt like we should come pray for y'all before you went. So it's <laughs> awesome. You know, yeah. that was uh, that was super cool. And then they brought, you know, after we got home, they brought over a big thing of food and all that. So I think Goblin feels like they're his nieces, nephews, whatever. Of course nephews. he does. Well, and I, yeah. And Paul is like, whenever you need us to keep them, you just let us know. I'm yeah. like, hey, I'm ta- don't don't say it if you don't mean it. Yeah, right, right now, right now we running on E. Yeah. But uh, no, and then our neighbors have been really supportive and brought us dinner and and all that kind of stuff and i mean i've always said we had the best neighbors because we stay out of everybody's business you know like you know we all we all we all look out for each other but we ain't the neighbor that we ain't the neighborhood that has a block party yeah you know what i'm saying like we look out for everybody's stuff but we don't spend a lot of time together necessarily and they just show up with food and and you know anything they can do and this that and other you look up they've hauled off your trash and everything else so it's it's been wild man Our, our village has 
help take care of us. And uh, I know it's going to keep on because it's going to get even more important to hold us accountable as parents and make sure we're raising these kids the right way and all that kind of stuff. But it uh, it's wild, man. It's, well, you're off to a good start. We Martin. we there. We I just. <laughs> I, I, I'm ready for a change. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. This, I, most, this. People, most people would not say, hey, I, I want things to change. Most people, I like, like, it, I, I like the way it is. So oh, I'm kid, a – With kids, no. I'm no, a creature okay. of habit, but I don't like this habit. I don't I don't like the one we're in now. I, and, and the change, it may get worse, but, I, you know, I don't know. I, no, I, it's just going to be different. Not really. Ooh, man. Be, not really. Kids like to talk about it. It's nothing new. But it's going to be new to you. Mm. Yeah. And Brittany. Oh, that's yeah. wild. Okay. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back. Johnny D will be back. So Johnny. I wild. knew we were I going know. to the NICU today, I and I was yeah. woke up not ready for it, and I was like, this is, this is just is what it is. And well, we're gonna... you're never going to get ready for what he just went through. Nope. nope. You can't. There's son. nothing. And that's okay. why I didn't text you that yeah. much, by the way. Yeah. Also, we're in segment five. I had to cut out yeah. for a minute. Now I'm back. But and we're still talking about what we talked about, but I well, that's why that's why I texted you because I said, well, if anybody knows, it's him. Well, and so, I also didn't. I I was praying that you wouldn't no, get I put transferred, my, and I didn't want to put the whole like, well, when the helicopter comes to pick him up and they take him to yeah. the airport, and then you got to chase him down to New. Like I didn't want to put that as a possibility because I was just trusting in God. Like, yeah, the, the it's talk, a big kid. He's gonna get through this. It's gonna be a weird couple of days, but it's all gonna be. And good. we have a follow up with the doctor that we would have seen in Baton Rouge had yeah. we went on Wednesday of this week. He comes up to Monroe like twice a month mm-hmm. or something, and so they're just he's gonna look, make sure everything still looks fine, but. Uh, I can tell you right now from the experience of changing however many diapers and feeding however many times, everything is flowing now. Everything's we flowing. Have a, we, have a, <laughs> we have a definite entrance and a definite exit. Uh, so which, hey, I got peed on by a three year old while you were gone. So it died, you, you, I've been peed on. Se- for for I've been time. peed on 17 <laughs> times. Every time you unsheath Jackson, he start pissing. It well, don't matter. He just whenever you unsheath him, that a boy. I don't care what you do. When when he's like, oh, I feel good. He's. <laughs> <laughs> I Brittany just said, a, Brittany oh. said, let's get a heater, and I said, don't make him comfortable. <laughs> I said it's hard to pee when you're cold. Just speaking from a, a experience. No, she got that heater right there by the changing table. Now you uncork him here. <laughs> hey, it happens. But well, let's do the mailbag. I have so something. It, hey, I bet you he's gonna be a firefighter. Well, <laughs> he got a he got Maybe. a hose for it, son. Oh, I love yeah. this oh, podcast. Oh, good grief! But oh. we had this is open ASAP. Oh. It's for Hunter producer care of Martin. Is that unopened? <sighs> unopened. Yeah, Martin, yeah. that's a dangerous. Hey, Sai, while he's opening that, show us what's on your belt. By the way. Oh, okay. Oh well, my word! I was hoping none of these boys would get get mouthy. <laughs> Yo, I'm oh out. Lord! Yeah. <laughs> Oh boy, we don't have a microphone for this. Hey, we don't have, hey I was hoping none of these boys get mouthy because I might have to pistol whip them like Dylan or put a bullet in them. <laughs> he's got his pistol. Uh-oh. He's got a Colt Uh-oh. 45. He's got bullets. He We've got, got wires. Badges. He looks good. Y'all do a segment on that when I leave. Oh, if yeah. this is the, we don't even know what's happening. Just made anymore. this poster for me. We're all under weird doctor uh, schedules and things. What and, do we uh, have uh, here? Yeah, this was on. just this was just Hunter. Please make sure that these are open on the podcast. Thank you, number one fan. I think it's Louise Wolf, maybe Louise. I like Louise. Congrats, Martin and Brittany. It's actually kind of funny. So this <laughs> would be this would be Jackson's. Okay, <laughs> right. the, the finale. Because I can assure you, biologically, he is the finale. <laughs> Uh, Do you need Dr. Marks' number, by the way? I already have an appointment. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. The once, first board. Once we, that was one of the first probably five phone calls I made once we sprung the NICU and got home. I said, uh, I need to schedule an appointment. See, now I will give you advice, <laughs> all the advice you want on that. Hey, it's a that's, wonderful time. Yeah, hey, I don't, but I got to wait for Brittany to get cleared from OB and all that after her surgery before I March start. March Madness, baby. Before I start. No, I ain't going that long. <laughs> no, sir. All right, while well, no, we're sir. opening stuff, while we're I'm, opening stuff, I opened it earlier, but this shirt was for me from Dwayne from Six Lakes, Michigan. Something else you'd believe in, yeah. Sasquatch. Uh oh. No, I don't believe in him. I do uh, now. I, no, I believe <laughs> in find a footprint. 
Unless thank he has you, a panther thank you with for him. The shark, Dwayne. Oh, Johnny D, what else in that what, uh, inbox? I got so much stuff. I'm just Martin. I'm happy to see you. First of all, hey, I'm glad to be here. We're switching Welcome gears back. a little bit. I'm sure we're gonna go through baby stuff for like the next few episodes. Oh, there's gonna be funny <laughs> stories. I'm sure because I, mean, I love it. I, I mean, it's and super happy for you for sure. Um, what do you want? I have one specifically for you, Martin. Go ahead. Do you like it? Because yeah. you're a biologist and you're smarter than the rest of us. Oh, I don't know about that. I would. Uh, Burdett from Kentucky. Congrats to you, Martin. Here's the dilemma. Your baby's fresh, very fresh, like 12 days old fresh. Yeah, he ain't even started peeling yet. Her baby's 17 years old, Yeah, uh, and she's got a dream of becoming a doctor, and she's going to college, uh, biochemistry major. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Um, but that's what her mom did as well, mm. Burdett. Um, so here's your question. A lot of science in college gets hairy when it comes to religion. Uh huh. So her question is this: How do I prepare my daughter to hold strong to her faith when I know she will face some of those same situations and challenges that she does? It's such a dilemma when you go into the yeah world of. I fought that too when I was doing all my biology stuff. But the, at the end of the day, what I come to realize is, is why can't science explain the Bible? Why why do we why do we have to see them in competition with one another or? Why do we why do we think that because of this then this couldn't have happened? Why the the number one one to me is evolution. Why do we think that our God wouldn't give the ability to an animal to change if it need be? Do I believe that we come from a single celled organism out of the water? No. Do I believe that a frog that gets geographically isolated from the rest of his deal can morph and become into a different species of frog? Absolutely, I do. I, 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 there are, to me, there are ways that you use science to explain religion. They don't have to mean you pick one. I, I just, I don't believe that. Uh, I never have and I never will. Uh, when, when you do the research, science backs the Bible up. I feel in that my way as well. Opinion. Yeah, I feel that in way as well. Opinion. But there's a lot of people that don't feel that way. There's a lot of people that feel and especially that— especially in the colleges and stuff, it gets weird quick. There's a lot of people yeah. that believe that science disproves the Bible. and But I don't understand why they can't work hand-in-hand in hand with each other. I, well, I, I've one never... question I got for the, all the brainiacs, okay, because I ain't very smart. Ugh. I think Evolution, smart. okay? If I came from a single cell Omega— why isn't that happening? Omega right? XL. Why ain't that happening right now? Yeah, why don't it continue to happen? Why don't it continue on? We should have seen some results from that. Yeah. Okay, and I always look at the duck pill platypus. He's a little thing that he can swim and breathe water, and he can also just come out of the water and breathe air. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's a wild animal. He's yeah. cool. Okay, and Nook, that throws all the theory of evolution out of the. Out of the it stopped right well, there. Well, here's another thing. they can't thing. explain where you come from. Here's another thing, Si. Who do you know that's a scientist or not? Who do you know that's going to go and sit in front of a vacuumed out bottle and sit there and take notes? Nobody. Because on what? On, on, on anything. <laughs> because they know something doesn't come from nothing. So something doesn't come from nothing. There couldn't have been a some kind of particles and it became a big bomb blast and all of a sudden you got where'd that come from you see yeah. what i'm saying what yeah. started that where'd yeah. that come yeah. from yeah. that's that that's you gotta question. have yeah. something to blow up because i was 24 years and yeah. a half in the military trust me <laughs> i know about explosives <laughs> you gotta have something to blow up <laughs> homemade where'd that come from? You know, so hey rule out the big bang theory where'd that you know, come the from? bible says this way god spoke this universe into existence <laughs> Boom. I believe it. And hey, when I say it, I got, hey, because, hey, you talking about a command voice? That's one, Jack. <laughs> he really does have children. No, no, <laughs> hey, it. my hair is standing up. Everywhere. That's awesome. Oh, I love okay. it. But don't get on me on, because, hey, I'm just saying, hey, science doesn't disprove the Bible. Yeah. You do the research, okay, and science is right there behind the Bible. Yeah, let it work hand in hand with one yeah. another. Let them both go. But she's going to be tested. It's going to be tough. Yeah, it, it's going to be. But that's because there's going to be professors that want to impart their. Well, oh, here's yeah, here's what I yeah. say. Their to way the of teachers, thinking on. Okay, I love you all. Just study what you got to study. Hey, pass look, the test. And no, move no. On. Hey, <laughs> here's the right. deal. Teach it all. Nah, they ain't gonna do that. 
ass. Nice. Eat it all, and then, hey, I'll decide. Oh, they ain't going to do I that because that'd make us a free country. No, I'm kidding. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they ain't, Damn. They ain't interested in that. We're that'll make you rolling play, here in the duck call room. Make you play well, pistol. That's it. That's a great episode, huh? There you go. Hey, yeah. You Martin. Go. That was fun. Yeah. I missed two of them, but I'm sure y'all had a great time with them. Oh, of course we did. It's going to happen. Why did But I do have a Bible verse to send us out of here. Uh, Martin, I know you're in just, you're probably, you don't even know what you're thinking right now, do you? No, I do I, I, I tell you, survival. But uh, I my mean, only, uh, my only process is I now have to live so they can live. That That's, that's like, I'm eating things that A, I would never eat, and B, I'm like, man, it's pretty good. <laughs> then I look at it and I'm like, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I mean, it's amazing <laughs> how you're, hard. it's, it's amazing how priorities change. It, oh. You just, you grab Crazy. what's available, you eat it. And you move on. You're that's, like that's what always amazed me. Mom would say, "I'll eat the chicken neck." Yeah, and you know why she did that. I'm gonna tell you because she sacrificed so all you kids could get what you wanted. Well, yeah, we can eat that way. You could have the pulley ball. Oh no, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. So last favorite piece of chicken, the pulley ball. <laughs> but I'll just say from seeing, and we hadn't got to hang out much and talk much because we came in this episode hot, and then yeah. our schedules schedules are all, <laughs> schedules are all nuts right now, people. But <laughs> Especially the feeding schedules and sleeping schedules over at the Martin House. But I can just see the things you've said and the, your face when you say, um, those two boys are blessed to have a dad. Whoop. Oh, gosh, it's the emotional episode. <laughs> I'm a man. I'm not going to cry today. Uh, just it's kidding. okay to cry. I know it is. Yeah, I've been crying uh, for two and a half I weeks. Think so. I've been it's crying okay the last 30 minutes, it feels that, like. But that's a bunch of bull that a man can't cry. You're exactly God right. God gave us feelings. But okay? I'm just, and it's okay to cry. I'm just saying those two boys are blessed to have hey, you as is. their father. And uh, a mom. and Yeah, for sure. And Brittany is their mom. And just going to train them up in the way they should go. And that's not even the verse I and have. And when they get older, they will not depart from it. Amen to that. But here's the verse. Amen to that. <laughs> and here's another verse for y'all. Psalm 71, 6. From birth, I have relied on you. You brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. We all think we're in control of this ball that's spinning around. And then something like the NICU happens and you realize... We got no Here's control over nothing. Martin said it best. So let's just rely on the Lord. Martin said it best. Amen. God's got this, and hey, I like the way he worded it. I knew you in the secret place. Mm -hmm. He knew the Martin boys when they was in the secret place, Jack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's why. And he always stay with them is my wish. No, that's me too, Sam. <clears throat> well, thank you, boys. We'll see y'all next time. We'll see what happens in the next Bye. before we record again. I'll see if I have any funny stories of what they do or what they pee on. Or what I'm sure, we'll go down some road. Yeah, it's all good. But we'll see y'all next time. We're out.